What's going on guys? Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama and today I want to talk about how I keep deer and rabbits out of my garden. Now I moved to this property three years ago. Man, that sun's out there. It was just raining a few minutes ago. But I mean, I moved to this property three years ago and we had to clear out some land and as you can see all behind me, all of this was trees, all behind me. It was all trees. So I had to get a bulldozer and he had to push away all these trays which destroyed the topsoil. Y'all already know that. And all I have here is chert, which the topsoil layer here is pretty low. But anyway, back to what we're talking about. Okay, so I'm like, I cannot plant a garden here because we have just way too many deer and we do have rabbits. But the deer population here, I was like, there's no way they'll wipe me out. I can't, I can't even do it. So after we pushed the deer, I'm, I'm sorry, after we pushed the trees away, I had, I was like, I have to build a fence. So what I did was I built a hundred by hundred fence, eight foot tall to keep the deer out. And this is what I built. Please excuse the weeds. I've got some, still got lots of work, spring work to do. Weeds are starting to come up. But anyway, all right, you see this? That's a bridge tie. And I had to do this on the cheap because I didn't have a whole lot of money to, to build it with. So I made all four corners with bridge ties. You can use cross ties, you can use four by fours. It just really doesn't matter. You've got to have a solid four corners. And then, I've got four foot chicken wire. You can see this, this is chicken wire, four foot chicken wire. And I've got two of those. Now these are a hundred foot long rolls of, of four foot chicken wire. Now you could use any kind of wire you want, but this was the absolute inexpensive way that I could come up with at the time to build a fence that will keep a deer out because you're not trying to keep hogs in. You're not trying to keep cows in. You're just trying to keep a deer out. So then I've got my use for my posts. I've got real solid corner posts. And then in the middle, what I did was this is PVC pipe. Now I did a short video on this one time before and it seemed to do pretty good. People seem to like this kind of content. So I thought I'd do a little bit more, more uh, extensive virgin. That is PVC pipe, folks. That is not a real post. And so what I did to keep the sun off of it was I painted it. Now, and I use Rust-Oleum paint. I have had zero problems with this. This thing has been up for two years. And I think I've got a lot of life in this i don't know many many years left in this deer fence probably it may even last the rest of my life but this thing will last a long long time and what i did was is these these posts that are in the that i'm using in between the corner posts i got those on sale at lowe's and i only paid three dollars and some cents a piece for those and so they were running a sale on them. This was in the middle of COVID. And I don't know about what they are now, but for a 10 foot stick, they're two foot in the ground. They're holding this wire up really good. And so what I used to hold the wire to the PVC post was metal zip ties. Now I was gonna use plastic, but then I got to thinking about it and I was like, I don't think it's gonna last. But these metal, these metal zip ties, I think they're gonna last a long time. And at two years of sitting here, it, it, it's not even rusty. I mean, I, there's, there's no problems with this at all. And it's tight and it stayed tight. I've been really pleased with it. Now working our way around this garden, as you can see, I've got two, <coughs> Two, uh, two garden places inside here, and also my potato bed over there. Now, I built some gates. Now these are 
just standard four foot wide gates that I made of their they're treated two by fours and I used the uh, I used a smaller one inch hole chicken wire it seems to be a little more sturdy but for the outside part the part that goes around those are two inch holes now that was a lot less expensive and I spent a little extra money to get the one inch squares for these gates and you see I put a top on top of it it looks like looks like this that's my that's the entrance to my garden and if you see this deer right here I shot that deer in my driveway uh, let's see uh, about well January before last it's getting real windy out here I think it's about to start raining again so as you can see I have a hundred by hundred fence here and I have had zero problems with deer trying to jump this fence it's eight foot tall and I know a deer can jump an eight foot fence I already know that but I haven't had not have one try it that I'm aware of I, I never had a deer in this garden two years okay I hope that gives you some ideas now this is what I did to keep the rabbits out don't click off just yet don't click off got more to talk about but before I do I just want to talk about today's sponsor today's sponsor is the boss for all your internet and IT solutions if you have a small company or a large corporation if you have copiers computers software you need website design any any office management product systems that you need call the boss that's 205-900-BOSS that's 205-900-BOSS thanks boss still don't click off we got more to talk about now it's back to the video around all the way around this deer fence are these staples right here and i'm going to put a picture beside me of what actually i bought i bought it off of amazon these are fence staples or fabric i think they're actually fabric staples and so i went along the edge of the wire all the way around and stapled the wire to the ground now is that gonna keep every rabbit out probably not but it'll sure keep most of them out in two years time i've only had one rabbit in there and then i found a place where it had pushed the wire up a little bit and i went back behind him after i got the rabbit out i went back behind him and and i restapled it down better and i haven't had any more trouble so these staples all the way around looks like this these staples all the way around that's what i did as you can see this is the inside of the garden from behind the gate as you can see my weeds i got to get but i've got these braces see this braces these brace keep this gate post from swaying back and forth and then the top actually keeps the braces from moving side to side so it's real stout i have had not any trouble with that and i and i just made that like the top of this that was just a tree in my yard to cut down and i decided i was like i can't waste the log so that's what it, that's what it became now i know there's other ways to keep deer and rabbits out of your garden i just wanted to share this is what i did and i did it this way because i needed a large space and i didn't have a large amount of money so i did it on the cheap as cheap as i possibly could and basically i bought let's see eight rolls of two inch chicken wire four foot by 100 foot that's 400 foot around top and bottom so that's 800 feet and then i've got uh pvc two inch pvc pipe and i've got some corner braces and a gate that i made and that's it there's not a whole lot to it so i hope this gives you some idea of what you can do on the cheap on a budget at your place thanks for watching like share and subscribe god bless